Good morning, everybody. Here to die up a sheet set for you. It's been soaking in our soda ash, our sodium carbonate, for the last 30 minutes or so. We're going to twist it up and throw some color on it. Come along for the ride. This is a full sheet set, 100% cotton. I believe it's a 400 thread count, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, doing the whole entire thing. This is just for a friend of ours. It's the first day it's been warm enough to actually do this, so we're gonna I'm gonna take advantage and go ahead and knock it on out. Shouldn't take very long, even though it is a sheet set, because it is just a simple neon rainbow spiral. That's what they wanted, that's what they'll get. We are gonna be doing some more uh, unique sheet sets though here soon. We do have some more of them on the shelf in there. Gonna slide them over. I'm gonna go ahead and twist them all right now, and then we're gonna dye them all at the same time as well. Here's both pillowcases. Let's do, this appears to be the flat sheet. Might take me a second to wring it out, but once we get there, we'll holding it. I have to wring it in two sections. All right, now. That's good. That does. Sometimes we do center them perfectly. This one, I don't believe that's going to be the case. I'm going to try to get as close as I can. Whatever I get, I get. Not a big deal. So I'm going to grab what appears to be about the middle and just start. Get you a good handful and start to twist. Keep it unfurled the whole way. Just keep twisting it on up. Got a little bit of trash on it, but not too bad. You can always drape them across the chair too. That's how we sometimes do them, but this one just wasn't hardly big enough. We normally do a little bit larger than this on the sheet sets. They're normally queens or kings or Cali kings. Or crib sheets. I think this might be the first full set we've ever done. Definitely the first I've ever done. Okay. Last part. The fitted sheet. Blow it 
identify the rough metal. And this one I am going to hurl. So I'm going to do it like this. This is roughly the middle of it right here. We'll grab right there. Start and twist. get it started then we can move it on over okay. and properly spiral it on up Too bad. Get it banded up good. Gotta make sure you use plenty of them because it's so big and heavy. These aren't extremely heavy duty rubber bands. We like to reuse our bands pretty much until they break. We don't like to waste, especially rubber and plastic products. Okay. Maybe one more for good measure. Alrighty. To the dying rack with all of them. Boop. Look at that stack. Tripod. It's kind of chilly out here. Not too bad though. Like I said, it's the warmest it's been in a few days. So we're gonna do them all at one time. So to kick it all off, we got hot pink. get good penetration in this since it's a sheet set obviously make sure you get it good and soaked okay paint on those a little dab on these all right deep orange want that good saturation good color On these. He said he did want me to leave quite a bit of white, so that's what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I would probably even soak them a little bit better, but he said leave lots of white, so we'll see. Citrus or golden yellow, sorry. Get that good gradient going on. Turquoise. I love the turquoise. It's just such a vibrant color. It makes such beautiful colors when it mixes with the greens and pinks and reds and yellows. It doesn't take nearly as much of it either. It's a very deep color. Let's go. The last color, which is lavender. Good gradient on both sides. 
It's hard to do when you got them this close together like this. It really messes you up. Alrighty. Time to flop all of them. So, rearrange the days. Let's flip them on over. Always keep your handy tie-dye wiping paper towels. Okay. Let's get these knocked on out. I think it's like I got them pretty good on the first go around, so that's good. Deep orange, so we want a good gradient. As you can see, some colors spread better than others, some colors penetrate better than others. It really just depends. Gold and yellow, those well, we don't really need a whole lot more, you know, because you don't want them to get muddy. Wine pop. A little spritz, like I said. Turquoise. Sure, fill up the outer folds good so you get good color on the outside. And the lavender. Finish it on off. Get a good gradient. Alrighty. Put that turquoise on that one. It should be good. Like I said, you don't want to get muddy in the middle, so. Ready for the drying rack. Okay, to the drying rack. I'm gonna carry them one at a time, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you this process, but all we're gonna do is just simply set them on this rack over there and let them dry. So I got them all transferred over to the drying rack. This is where they will sit for the next 24 hours until I'm ready to rinse them on out. Alrighty folks, y'all have a wonderful day. We'll see y'all tomorrow.